Good morning everyone. Tara basa na tayo nating libro guys. Kapa ako Pilipino. Magbasa na tayo nating sariling history book. History of the Filipino People by Agoncilla and Guerrero. Today is 0 to April 2023. History of the Filipino People Part 6 The Third Republic. Topic number 29. The Cultural and Social Scene. Nandito tayo sa paragraph Tagalog Literature. Basa. Tagalog literature, the ascendancy of Tagalog in the mid 1930s led to a literary, literary activity that even the Japanese were not able to arrest. The writers, though chatting under external restraints imposed by the conquerors, were nevertheless free to write on any subject save the ugly side of the occupation. They wrote on pre-war social problems which since approximately the, eight, the early 1920s had been neglected in favor of fantasy and romances. In the post-war years, they began to turn to the war experiences and produced for the most part propaganda literature. A few literary magazines appeared during the first years of the the first years after the liberation, the most prominent among them being Malaya, Ilang Ilang, Sinagtala, Liwayway, and Bulaklak. The last two because of their popular appeal still exist. The Liwayway, though not strictly a literary magazine, is nevertheless an effective instrument for the propagation of Tagalog. Its circulation exceeds any of the big newspapers in English. Of the literary types in prose, the short story has been since the late 1920s the favorite among the writers. It has superseded the novel which reached the apex of popularity in the second decade of the century. The writers of the 1930s and the post-independence era belong to a group who have imbibed much of American civilization it is therefore not surprising that the practitioners of the art should follow in the footsteps of Hemingway, Saroyan, Poe, Gale, Anderson, Faulkner, and others. While a few of the writers have declared their independence from foreign authors, many still continue to copy the style, even the mannerisms of the latter. Significant stories since the last war have been Written by Hinoviva de Edruza Matote, Serafin Zeginigondo, who changed his name to Gonigundo. Ayong Ginigondo, pinalitan niya ng Gonigundo. For political purposes, Macario Pineda, El Pidio P. Capolo, Hilario Coronel, Pablo in Bautista, and Pedro S. Dandan, whose works have been included in short story anthologies. Of the latter, five have appeared since 1946, Mga Piling Katha, 1947, collected and edited by Alejandro G. Abadilla and Maikli Quintong Tagap. And Ang Maikli Quintong Tagalog, sorry. 18, kasi naman warp na siya guys, obrado na talaga. So, hindi mo nag ano mabasa. Ang maikling kwintong Tagalog, 1886-1948-1949. Collected and edited with collected and edited with historic, historical critical introduction by Teodoro A. Agoncillo. Ako ay isang tinig 1952, a collection of the stories and essays of Hinoviva de Etrusa Matote, ang maikling kathang Tagalog, 1954. Collected and edited by Alejandro G. Abadilla, ang mga ago sa Desierto, 1964, a collection of stories by the young writers of the 1960s. The encouragement of the short story came in 1951 when a car manufacturer founded the Carlos Palanca Senior Memorial Awards for Literature Tagalog in English and offered 1,000 pesos for the best short story of the year, 500 pesos for the second best 
and the 254 and 254 the third beast the beast stories for its year are picked by the literary literary editors who submit their interest to the board of judges the defect of this method at least in the Tagalog division is that the preliminary choice of interest is left in the hands of editors who cannot distinguish between a short story and a novel. This defect became obvious in 1952 when the members of the Board of Judges confronted with many bad stories submitted by the editors had to pick the best among the worst. Many well written and significant stories were left out competition owing to the fact that the editors could not understand them. Poetry, the, the favorite of the Tagalog, has become stale. Its decline since the liberation has been caused by the competition of the novel, the short story, and the comic strips. Poets, compared with the other writers, are not paid well. As a consequence, the poets and budding poetlings change their direction and try their hand at the more lucrative types. The short story, the novel, and script writing, only a few unregenerated and confirmed poets like Manuel Carr, Santiago, Manuel Principe, Bautista, Robin Vega, the late Alpidio P. Capolong, Amado V. Hernandez, the veteran poet newspaper man, labor leader, and a few others have written verses of quality. Alejandro G. Abadillo, the foremost exponent of rivers in Tagalog, and who considers himself an is above what Whitman sometimes doubles in poetry to prove that there is no incongruity incongruity in being an insurance agent and being a poet. Abadilia's activity are not confined to selling insurance policies and writing poetry. He is also an assiduous anthologist of verses, short stories, and essays. In 1949, after cajoling the poets into giving him their best poems, Abadilia put out Pamasong Tagalog, the first major anthology of poetry. This collection represents all schools and indices in Tagalog poetry in lengthy and obscure introduction. Abadilia laid down in the manner of a man about to give up his ghost his so-called literary testament. Not contented with this achievement, he put out his collection of verses in 1955 and entitled it Ako Ang Daigdig at Iba Pang Tula. Of the post-war Filipino poets, the greatest was the late Amado P. Hernandez's collection of poems Isang Dipang Langit, 1961. Ang Bayang Malaya, 1969, contained the most beautiful and significant poetry written in the Philippines. Hernandez won the Republic Cultural Heritage Award and the National Artist Award, the latter posthumously in 1973. His death in 1970 was a great loss to Philippine literature. In the early 1960s, some Tagalog poets resuscitated, resuscitated the old Tagalog poetic form the Tanaga, like the Malay Pantun, the Tanaga, like the Malay Pantun, the Tanaga is a quatrain and is a poem in itself. It has seven syllables to align with a, mo with a monorim, with a monorim, while the Pantun has irregular lines ranging from eight to 11 syllables to align to collections of Tanaga have been published to Sibylia Panganibans Tanaga Haiku Pantun 1963 and Alejandro G. Abadilias Tanga Badilia 196 Tanaga Badilia sorry 1965 The former follows the traditional form and rhyme of the Tanaga well the latter reduces the number of syllables to six to a line and changes the rhyme scheme to above A B A B. How you say that? 
or alternate rhyme or alternate rhyming at almost the same time a small group of college students began writing in free verse with stills realistically with every scenes and happenings they are called the bagay group because their language is not poetic but is made to fit the language of the people in the laboratory obviously these writers have been influenced by the contemporary English and American poets whose conscious use of symbols and specialized language has made poetry reading a sort of punishment. There is no need to discuss linkly, linkly the novel and the essay. The novels, with the probable exception of, um, exception of Abadelia and Capolos, Pagkamulat ni Magdalena, 1958, Edgardo Reyes sa mga kupo ng liwanag, 1966 and one or two others not so distinguished are definitely pot boilers. Many of the novels published in the popular weeklies derive their inspiration from American teleplays and comic strips. The AC, on the other hand, is not popular with the public and so even the competent writer seldom write is to love of proper inconsistent and appreciation. However, some critical essays were collected in book form and published in 1972. It is Virgilius Almarius Ang Makata sa Panahon ng, ma ng Makina, which did not sell more than 200 copies. Earlier, Alejandro G. Abadilla collected some essays and plain articles and published them under the title Mga Piling Sanaysay 1950, but it never sold more than 500 copies. In the literary contest, contest, in the literary contest conducted by the Cultural Center of the Philippines in 1975, the winning essays had no depth, although the authors show a promise of fulfillment. The drama, which had been more banned, is now awakening, and the younger writers, notably Rolando Tenio, Rogelio Sicat. Domingo Landicho, Amelia La Pena Bonifacio, and a few of the youngers of the young hunger, and a few of the youngsters are showing signs of improving the drama and the stage. The role of the Cultural Center of the Philippines in promoting Filipino literature is not insignific insignificant. It's continuous support of the writers and artists will be brought in the form of readable verses and place fit for the stage. Looking back to the years when the first American soldiers set foot on Philippine soil and when the writers in Tagalog began for the first time to express themselves freely, one is pain to note why the writers in Tagalog, in spite of the searching national individual in spite of the searing, sorry, national and individual experiences they have had, including those of the Japanese occupation, have so far failed to produce the novel or the drama that can rightly be called great literature. There was expectation in some sanguine quarters that with the Japanese occupation, the writers would take time out to ponder and felt the significance of those three years under the heels of the enemy and write the epic drama or novel in the language in which they have been reared. To date, there is no sign that such event will materialize in the near future. Why? Is it because of language problem? Hardly for those. Hardly for there are many competent writers in Tagalog. Is it because a literary genius has not yet appeared, perhaps? Or is it because there is no money in good literary works? But since we have great works given their authors enough material compensation to bring leisure to their harassed lives, but then when one thinks of the history of the Filipino people and of the youth of the nation, one is tempted to exclaim, Look, don't be impatient. Rome was not built in a day. Bukas na itong Filipino literature in English, guys. Sobrang haba ng ano, ng binasa natin. Tagalog literature. Bye everyone. God bless.